My name is Chris with Headlight Revolution and behind me I've got our 2018 Toyota 4Runner and I've got the coolest product I've ever seen when it comes to light bars beside me. This is the KC Highlight Pro 6 light bar. As you can tell, it is not your typical straight double stacked LED light bar. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen. We've got the Rago Fabrication brackets uh, holding that thing onto our front bumper and I'm going to show you guys how to install it, how to wire it, how to make it all look really cool. So let's get started. The first step in installing your light bar and the light bar brackets is removing the front bumper off your Toyota 4Runner. Now I'm going to put this thing up in the air just because I have a lift and I want to show you guys the best visual that I can on exactly what we're doing today, but you do not need a lift to do this job. You can do it with basic hand tools in your driveway at home. The first step is removing three 10 millimeter bolts from each wheel well on your Toyota 4Runner. Underneath the bumper, there's two 10s on each side and then there's two in the center. Remove those. Now if I show you something on one side, when it comes to removing this bumper, it's the same for the other side. Everything's pretty symmetrical on these, on these Toyota 4Runners. At this point, you're going to want to unhook your fog light wiring. Reach up and unplug the connector. Press the tab and release the connector. Now, we've got the Morimoto XB LED fog lights installed in our Toyota 4Runner. If you're interested in those, you should definitely check out our video on them. They are really sweet. That's all you've got to take off underneath the vehicle. Now we can jump back up top and remove a few clips and get this bumper out of our way. The first thing that has to come off on top is this cover panel here. It's held on by all these little plastic push pins here. And if you press the center of them, they'll click. You can get a little pry tool under them and they pop right out. I really love that design. I wish everybody copied Toyota and had that same thing under the hood because that would be fantastic for me. One trick you can do is push all the centers in and then pull on the cover panel. My only word of advice there is they like to shoot up and out, so be careful you don't do too many of them at once. You end up losing any, like I just did. Okay. Now you've got two plastic pins on top and a 10 millimeter bolt, as well as four plastic pins down below. These are your more typical automotive push pins. Get under them with a flat screwdriver like so. Pop the center piece out and the whole thing pries out like that. We've got one 10 millimeter bolt right here. And then we've got these four down here. Same thing as the ones on top, just get under it, pop the center section out. All right, we're almost in the home stretch. Grab this plastic piece here attached to the bumper, pull it toward the wheel and out. Now there's a little channel here that this bumper is clipped into and if you just pull it toward you like that, it's gonna pop straight out. And if everything's disconnected properly, the bumper's gonna wanna come off like so. So I briefly introduced these guys when I started this video out. This bracket is made by a company called Rago Fabrication. We've picked up their line of products and we're offering some of them on our website. They've got brackets like this for the 4Runner that are super specific and they install really well. They're TIG welded stainless steel. They look great and what I like about them is they're completely adjustable. You could put any light combination on this thing, any kind of spacing, any kind of like shimming forward and backward. They thought of everything. You could fit anything here, but why would you want to put anything else other than the KC Highlights Pro 6 pods up there? They are the coolest looking light I've ever seen. I said that in the intro, I can't say it enough, it looks way cool. 
essentially when you've come this far in the install, you've got three bolts per side right down here. You pop those out, you reinstall them through this bracket, and it sits like so. Now, there's a lot of, it's kind of a good and a bad thing, there's a lot of adjustability here. I went through all this off camera to figure out the best combination of what's gonna work for the KC Highlights Pro 6 bar. In this case, for the KC Highlight Pro 6, I went to this second hole down right here, and then the seventh hole down right here. They're kind of kitty corner. You can put all four bolts in without any problems. Now, you don't want to tighten anything up right now. You just want to snug it up, probably finger tight. You want to be able to move these brackets around and get that bar perfectly where you want it after the bumper's installed. Now, take these same steps, repeat them on the passenger side for your other bracket. Uh, I've already got that one installed. At this point, you can throw the bumper back on loosely and make sure everything's where you want it before you continue. Wouldn't be a bad idea to throw a bolt in here or something up top just so that this thing doesn't fall. We've come this far, the last thing you want to do is drop the bumper of your nice brand new 4Runner. Even throwing that little 10 in the center up there is just fine. It's not going to go anywhere. Now, one final bracket that we have to deal with. This guy right here is going to reach into the grill and get bolted to that bracket assembly that we just put together. From there, you install your light bar through this little hole here. It's pretty straightforward. If you've gotten this far, this is no problem. Everything that we've got installed on this vehicle right now is loose. The Rago fabrication brackets are loose. There's a lot of adjustability here and every vehicle is different. The last thing you want to do is go through and tighten everything and then try to get your bar on and find out that it doesn't fit. So as you can see here, I'm, going, I'm installing the light bar now. I'm putting the nut on each side just to hold it in place, just so I can make sure that everything's centered, everything looks good from left to right, everything's square with the vehicle before I go crazy tightening everything down. The brackets that attach to the bumper itself are slotted, so there's a lot of adjustability from side to side. There are several holes you can choose from for, for the actual light bar brackets themselves on the Rago brackets. So once again, just to recap, the last thing you want to do is tighten anything down before you've figured out if the light bar fits where you want it or not. If the light bar looks good on the vehicle and it's square and it's straight and centered, go ahead and go through, tighten everything up, and finish the install. So in this video, we showed you everything you need to know step-by-step step on how to get these KC Highlight Pro 6 lights mounted onto the front of your 4Runner with the Rago fabrication brackets. Now, you can use the KC Highlight wiring that came with the kit and install it just like any other relay harness for any other light bar. If you want to see how we did it with the S-Pod system, check out the link below. It is definitely worth watching. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen when it comes to wiring in aftermarket lighting. And I'd love to show it to you guys. Check out our channel, uh, Headlight Revolution on Facebook. Check out our website, www.headlightrevolution.com. Thank you for watching.